How you doing? This is Eric Neiswanger with Team Galloway here in Columbus, Ohio. Hope everybody's having a good morning or afternoon. Today I have Brandon Schmaltz with the Channel Line. Brandon, Hi. thanks for coming in. No problem. This is our distributor or manufacturer series. And today we're going to talk about some of the products that we here in Galloway are stocking and distributing here in our Midwest. We've got some connectivity lines and we also have some underground vault lines. So, as always, um, Keep us in mind when you're looking for your outside plant materials, and I'll pass over to Brandon. Okay, yeah, my name is Brandon Schmaltz. I cover uh, four states here in the Midwest for channel, Indiana, Michigan, Kentucky, and Ohio. Um, for those of you that don't know about channel, uh, we've been around since 1922. We're currently in our fourth generation of the channel family. Um, we're located in Texas and California for our manufacturing facilities. And today, right here, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our connectivity line, our fiber line that we started probably 10, 15 years ago. Um, but in the last six to eight years, we've really concentrated and geared everything uh, to fiber to the home builds. Um, what you see here are two products that are set up currently for a distributed split or an engineered tap solution. But we can also do, we have products that will do a centralized split as well. This here is our G5 product. Um, it's got 13 individual drop ports on the front there, so every house or business um, can have its own drop port. On the top here, you can see some SCAPC adapters. Um, so you can bring a pigtail in and splice an SCAPC onto that, or you can do a splice on SCAPC connector in there. You can also get rid of the adapter panel altogether and uh, just do fusion splicing on there. This one's set up to have uh, splitters in the back so there's a splitter holder in there where you can put up to three PLC splitters in there um, and then you got the, the capability to have four splice trays on there each one of them can do 18 uh, splices each single stacked or you can do double stack and do 36 in there what you see here is our new um, aerial inline enclosure it's called yellow jacket um, it can also be used as a butt splice enclosure and mounted in one of our pedestals it has the ability to do 16 drop ports on the side coming in. So you got 16 SCAPC adapters there. Again, you can bring in and do a splice on pigtail or just a splice on SCAPC adapter. Um, on the back side here, you have the capability of doing uh, four splice trays just like in the G5. And something that's unique about this product line is the same splice tray you use in that G5 can also be used in this yellow jacket enclosure as well. Um, in here you also see this is set up with uh, uh, PLC splitters, um, two 1x4s in there I think, and, and then take two. <laughs> so in this uh, yellow jacket you notice there's two compartments. This is to keep separation of crafts in here. So when your technicians are in here plugging the drop in for the house or the business, they never have to get on the back side of this um, where you have your actual splicing to your mainline feeder cable or your splitters. Um, all they have access to is this front compartment and uh, that's for safety reasons so they don't get in there and bump a splitter or fiber lead. Okay, a little bit about uh, channel vaults. Um, most of these, of these vaults that you would get are made in our Texas facility so they'd be shipping out of the Dallas location. Um, a thing that separates channels vaults apart from the rest is our lightweight uh, material that we make our bases out of as well as our uh, shield lid that I'll talk to you a little bit about here. As you can see, every, every vault that we make on our uh, bulk line, it has this honeycomb design that's to help uh, lock it into place when you put it in the ground. Every base, whether it be our smallest one, our, tw our 12 by 12, or up to our 36 by 76 vault, uh, the base itself is rated for 60,000 pounds. Um, and on that base, we got three lids that you can use. We have a plastic um, HDPE lid that's rated for like 3,000 pounds. So you're talking foot traffic, lawnmowers, stuff like that. And then we also have our gray lid, which is our shield lid. This lid is rated for tier 22, 33,750 pounds. Um, aside from having a, a load rating of tier 22, this, rate is, this lid is about 50% less weight than a typical polymer concrete lid, um, but still can carry that tier 22 rating for you. It also is going to um, last up over time. We have what we do, what we call the endurance stress test. 
So this lid will get hit with a little more than half of it, well, with half of its proof load every second. So every second it's getting hit with about 17,000 pounds, and we're currently at 2 million cycles without this lid breaking down on you. Um, right here what Eric has in front of him, this is our, uh, uh, we've had the 1111 product for a while. We've added a new feature to it called our slam lock. It's kind of a utility box or a drop box for the fire to the home stuff. And we've had a lot of customers come to us and say, hey, our lids on our flower pots are getting picked up by lawnmowers. They're not getting put back on. We're having to buy new lawnmower blades for customers. Is there anything you can do for us? So we designed the new slam lock that uh, just allows the technician to go on there. They can put it on anyway because the box is square. All they gotta do is step on it and it's locked. And then it's just a standard can wrench 716 uh, to open it back up. Well, Brandon, those are great products. I appreciate you coming in today and uh, explaining it all to a lot of our customers here in the Midwest. As always, keep in mind, Galloway has our own trucks, delivery. We do stock for your projects. These come in many shapes and sizes. We are stocking at least 10 different sizes of the bulk vaults and on the pedestals like three. So on the connectivity line channel is uh, growing rapidly here in 2020 and expect more in 2021. As always, my name is Eric. You can call or email me and thank you for your business.